Yeah, so this is four terminal bracket that I made. You got the two banana jacks on the left side go up to my lights and then I just use a pair of uh, bolts for terminals here on the uh, right hand side and that feeds my power coming in and then that drops down to my light switch on the wall and then comes back up to a buck converter in there to control the uh, voltage. So the power comes in on the top there, goes down one of those wires to the switch, the other wire comes up to the buck converter, and then the buck converter goes up to the banana plugs uh, that the light is attached to, and then that goes up to my uh, strip light. Yeah, so there's the strip light plugged in, so that's one option that I did. And then here's another variation I did. This is two different lights. The power comes in down here on this main wire coming down. It goes to the negative positive terminal in the middle. And then I go down from there to two switches. And then those come back up to the banana jacks on the left and the right side. The uh, left side runs up to an overhead light and the right side runs down to a light over my lathe. So there's like a six position bracket. So I, I do the two, four, six. There'll be a cabinet actually installed up here. So that wiring will actually be on the back wall of the cabinet once I get it framed in. So I tried to make a pretty flexible system that I could expand you know, from two to four, six terminals as I need it. So this one here is for two different lights controlled by two different switches. And then the other one was one light and one switch. And then, yeah, so this is one of the two position uh, brackets. So the wire coming in from the left side of the bracket is the incoming power and then there's a wire uh, running out the right side. So that's feeding the next uh, circuit in the system. And then the two banana plugs feed a coaxial power plug that plugs into the strip lights. The strip lights have coaxial plugs. The main wiring just has a banana jack and plug. I could have used the coax connectors there, but the reason I didn't is that you typically have to solder those. Kind of hard to solder stuff standing up on a ladder like that over your head. You'd have to kind of pre-wire everything on the bench and solder it and then, then try to put it up against the ceiling. I do try to minimize the amount of soldering. In fact, there's no soldering at all up here. There's crimped terminals on the incoming and outgoing power wires that connect up on the top there. And then the uh, banana jacks just screw in with set screws or I have some other type that uh, have a little more secure connection. And then the uh, coax power plug could be soldered but it it's also has the little screw clamps. That's the nice thing is everything can be accessed with a screwdriver and a nut driver is about the only tools you need up there, plus a, a wire stripper and crimper if you're running new wires. So it makes it pretty easy to work on and uh, it's worked quite well. This has been in place for a couple of years now and I haven't had any trouble with it. And if I need to work on it, you just get up there, pull the plugs out and it's ready to work on or if you want to measure the voltage or current you can just pull out a banana plug clip your meter in line and and measure whatever you want to measure and it makes it just real easy for troubleshooting and funny thing is I really haven't had to do any troubleshooting so it, it just works so anyway I thought I'd show you how I do my little uh, low voltage wiring uh, it's not saying it's the best way to do it I've just tried to pick one common set of connectors and connector types that uh, seem to work and this way I can just stock a bunch of banana jacks, banana plugs, and coaxial power plugs and I can expand my wiring and you're not having to reinvent the wheel every time you put up a, a new lighting circuit. You just know what to do, take the parts out of the drawer, plug them in, and you're ready to go. <laughs> I remember the first one of these I made took me a long time to figure out you know, what kind of parts and how to make it and what material to get. And now that I have that all figured out, it just takes a couple of minutes to make one. 
Anyway, I thought I'd pass that on uh, to show you what I'm doing for low voltage wiring connections. You know, not saying it's the best way, it just works for me and and if you find that helpful, give the video a thumbs up, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, any questions, put that in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for updates. And as always, thanks for watching.